Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. This is our podcast. My name is Nia Griffin, also known as Nia McCandy, and my friends call me Nia. Thank you so much for returning subscriber. And if you are new, don't forget to share, like, leave a comment, and definitely subscribe so we can reach more people and we can help more beautiful ladies to level up. Remember, sharing is caring. Share this video. I'm here to help you, I'm here to motivate you, elevate your mind, level up, so together we can empower each other and inspire one another. So what you see on the screen is the book I co-author with my amazing mentor, Nim Stant. Make sure to get your copy on Amazon, and if you don't have the means to purchase one, just let me know and I will send you a free copy. Today's podcast, we'll be diving into this topic how to prepare for a new life after narcissistic, emotional, or and physical abuse. How to prepare for a new life after narcissistic abuse. I'm going to share with you today six ways you can help other victims, other survivors to prepare for a new life after narcissistic abuse. Or if you yourself are a victim and now you're surviving domestic abuse, narcissistic abuse. So you want to know how you can prepare for your new life. Preparing for a new life after narcissistic abuse can be very challenging, but it's important to remember that healing and recovering is definitely possible. So here are the six different ways on how to prepare for your new life after narcissistic abuse. Number one, focus on self-care. Practice self-care activities that you enjoy and make you feel good, such as exercise, mindfulness, spending time with friends, family, and loved ones. Take care of yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally, especially mentally. Number two, set boundaries, set healthy boundaries. It's important to set boundaries with the narcissist abuser. If you can get away from him, definitely do so. Limit or avoid all contact with them. Set boundaries in other areas of your life as well, such as limiting your work hours, having a long time, or expressing your needs to others. Number three, seek support from others. Reach out to family, to friends, people that love and care about you to support groups for help. You don't have to go through this alone. I had to seek help and I'm so grateful that I was not alone in my journey to healing. I had a lot of people that helped me along the way. Number four, learn the warning signs. Educate yourself on the warning signs of narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse, so that you can recognize them and avoid toxic relationships in the future. I went through five different toxic relationships in the past, and it took me on each of them about two, three years just to heal and to regain self-love, self-confidence. So it takes time, take all the time you need, but you need to get out. And number five, seek therapy. Therapy is very, very important. A trained and certified therapist can help you work through the trauma of narcissistic abuse and develop healthy coping strategies for the future. So definitely seek help. And if you don't have the means to afford a therapist, you can find in your local um, area plenty plenty organizations that will provide free resources and number six identify your values and your goals and take time to reflect on what's important to you and what you want out of your life set realistic goals that align with your values it's so important you need to have a vision board a vision board is simply a blank sheet of paper and you cut some um, images and some words from magazine and you glue that on your blank sheet of paper and then you put it on your wall or you hang it nearby where every day you can look at it and you can read and visualize what you have put there and it helps actually to make things happen if you have dreams of traveling of gaining weight of losing weight of buying a house or graduating or meeting new people networking or increasing in different skills in learning a new language all this can be done and you can actually make it happen it's called the law of attraction as long as you think about it you visualize it you believe in yourself and you write it down and you put it down on paper it will happen so remember 
Recovery from narcissistic abuse is a process. It's not an overnight thing. It takes time, so just be patient with yourself, love yourself fully, and trust in the healing process. That's what I advise you to do. So remember, the six different ways that you can prepare for your new life after domestic, after narcissistic abuse. Number one, focus on self-care. Number two, set boundaries. Number three, seek support from others. Number four, learn the warning signs. Number five, seek therapy. And number six, identify your values and your goals. Thank you so much for watching, for staying here. And remember, take notes. We are human beings and we forget. So make sure you take notes. You go back, start from the beginning of this video, listen, patiently write down what you have learned and remember that I am here to help you on this journey of healing, of empowering yourself and yes you can do this. I am living proof. I'm writing my second book. It's going to soon be published and it's called What Doesn't Kill You Makes You Stronger. This book that you see here on the screen is You Were Made to Be Unstoppable and I was able to actually get published in February 2021 thanks to Neil Stand. And this is her book series, You Are Made to Be Unstoppable. My story is on page 83. It's a few pages, but it tells my story of how I came to America, how I was in different narcissistic, emotional, abusive relationships, how I get out, I managed to, got, uh, to get out, and I managed to regain self-love, self-confidence, and now I am more resilient. And because of what I've been through, thanks to what I went through, my hardship, my struggles, now I'm teaching other people. I'm teaching ladies how to empower themselves. I'm inspiring people, and I would love this channel to grow until we are able to reach out to over 1 million people. So let's make it happen together. We are stronger, let's unite. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Nyama, my friends call me Nia. I love you very much. Until next time, until next podcast, bye-bye.